when you ask any Muslim out there about homosexuality and the alphabet gang, they will say it is haram and Islam doesn't support it and some would even say it is punishable by death. To be fair, there are the hadiths which says that the messenger of Allah said, whomever you find doing the actions of the people of Lot, then kill the one doing it and the one it is done to. But we all know Muhammad doesn't follow his own teachings. This is a guy who told Muslims they can marry four wives and he had a special revelation that he can marry unlimited. Muslims are not aware that Muhammad himself did some stuff which could make him an LGBTQ. Starting from number 5, Muhammad wore the garments of his wives. We read from Mishkat Amasabi, Volume 2, Book 26. She told that the people used to choose Asher's day to bring their gifts, seeking thereby to please God's messenger. She said that God's messenger's wives were in two parties, one including Aisha, Hafsa, Safiya, and Sauda, and the other including Umm Salama and the rest of God's messenger's wives. Umm Salama's party spoke to her, telling her to ask God's messenger to say to the people, If anyone wishes to make a present to God's messenger, let him present it to him wherever he happens to be. She did so and he replied, do not annoy me regarding Aisha, for inspiration has not come to me when I was in any woman's garment, but Aisha's. The Sahih collection of Al Bukhari, Hadith number 2442, Aisha Bulis translation. He went around to her and she spoke to him. He said to her, Do not injure me regarding Aisha. The revelation does not come to me when I am in the garment of any woman except Aisha. Notice Muhammad telling his wife, Umm Salama, who was complaining about how Muhammad treated Aisha, his child bride, special to all the other wives, that he only receives revelation in the dress of Aisha and not the other women. Now, some translators try to hide this embarrassment by translating the Arabic word Taub, which literally means a dress as a blanket, as we see in Sahih Bukhari 3775. The Prophet said, O oh, Umm Salama, don't trouble me by harming Aisha, for by Allah, the divine inspiration never came to me while I was under the blanket of any woman amongst you except her. And some even translate it as a bed. I don't blame them because they had it proves Muhammad was a cross-dresser. Hence, they had to hide their best to fix it, but it's too late. Number 4. Muhammad wore eyeliner and instructed his followers to do same. Sunan Anasai 5113. Ibn Abbas reported, the messenger of Allah said, Verily, the best of the code that you use is antimony, for it brightens the eyes and grows the hair. So Muslims would argue that the code used for the eyeliner is medicine for the eyes, just as their prophet said in the hadith. But studies have shown that coal is very poisonous and it can even cause lead poisoning, and hence even banned in the US. The real reason Muhammad did that was obviously to look more feminine, as we have already established from the previous point. Drag queen. Number 3. Muhammad allowed a man to kiss his bare body. Sunan Abi Dawood 5224. Narrated Usaid ibn Hudayb, Abdurrahman ibn Abu Layla, quoting Usaid ibn Hudayb, a man of the Ansar, said that while he was giving to Justin and was talking to the people and making them laugh, the Prophet poked him under the ribs with a stick. He said, Let me take retaliation. He said, Take retaliation. He said, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The prophet then raised his shirt and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. Mm -hmm. Then he said, This is what I wanted, Messenger of Allah. See how he was even flirting with the man. That was very gay. Number 2. Muhammad urinated squatting like a girl. We read in Sunan Anasai 29. It was narrated that Aisha said, Whoever tells you that the Messenger of Allah Urinate standing up. Do not believe him, for he would not urinate except while squatting. Sunan Ibn Majah 307. It was narrated that Aisha said, If anyone tells you that the Messenger of Allah urinated while standing, do not believe him, for I always saw him urinating while sitting down. The transgender spirit in Muhammad was very real. Now, before we move to the last point, which will make you want to puke. Know that I wasn't going to drop this fact on Muhammad, but since the jihadists decided to burn churches and Christian homes in Pakistan, I had to retaliate by exposing their LGBT prophet. Number 1. Muhammad sacked the tongue of a little boy. Al Adab Al Mufrad, 1183. It is related that Abu Uriwa said, I never see a Hassan without my eyes overflowing with tears. That is because the prophet went out one day and he found me in the mosque. 
He took my hand and I went along with him. He did not speak to me until we reached the market of Bernu Kuneda. He walked around it and looked, then he left and I left with him until we reached the mosque. He sat down and wrapped himself in his garment. Then he said, Where is the little one? Call the little one to me. Hassan came running and jumped into his lap. Then he put his hand in his beard. Then the prophet opened his mouth and put his mouth in his mouth. Then he said, Oh Allah, I love him. So love him and the one who loves him. Damn! If this isn't the behavior of a pedo and LGBT, then I don't know what is. Stay away from the garbage of Muhammad. <laughs>